James, thanks very much indeed for uh, joining us today at the Green Swans Observatory. I'm very much looking forward to what you uh, have to say. And, and we first came across your work with Regen Villages um, because it seemed in a way that you were almost an Elon Musk uh, for the field of sustainable communities and sustainable settlements. So is, is that a fair um, assertion or not? Absolutely. I would say the distinction is, of course, that we're we're uh, focusing here on Earth as opposed to uh, Mars or the Moon, uh, but otherwise, absolutely, we're focused on on this concept of regenerative, resilient neighborhood developments mm -hmm. that are uh, designed by software, managed by software, meaning machine learning, but moreover, that they're focusing on food, water, energy, and circular waste to resource management at the neighborhood scale. So these nurturing kinds of platforms. So what's the business model? Can you talk a little bit about that? Regen Villages is, is focusing on this idea of creating neighborhoods that are around social affordable housing mm -hmm. uh, and also uh, market rate housing mixed mm -hmm. together. So there is absolutely this impact for profit solution that creates the circumstances for inclusivity that people can move into these communities, whether they have very little or, or nothing, uh, but at the same time that there's a social systemic funding branch that can support that, but also that they're mixed in a community of, of strong middle class and, and upper middle class and even the creative class, um, the folks with tremendous resources. Yeah. The idea really is that the business model is in how we can reimagine peri-urban and rural areas using software that can model these regenerative resilient communities and also use that same software to then run uh, those communities. And it's based on this concept of a mycelial network, mm -hmm. the mycorrhizal bundles, uh, this dialogue between trees, for instance, which is a long-term ledger. It's a have need network that is really remarkable because it's across different species and, and it's where this community of, of cultivars communicate with each other and support each other in yeah. symbiotic ways. We think that's a beautiful metaphor for the future of economic models going forward, that we're looking at long-term positive externalities, in other words. If I were coming into one of these villages for the first time, what would I see and what would be different from a normal uh, community. If you go back to the 60s and 70s, there would have been geodesic domes everywhere, but I suspect this is going to be slightly different. It, it's, it's really what it comes down to is, is just very beautiful relationship with nature, mm -hmm. okay? Edible, uh, every square meter, every square foot, if you can imagine, of a region village's community is really thought about from the context of, of delicious food and, and, and menu items and ingredients, whether it's in orchards, whether it's berms and guilds and, and swells, it's, it's, it's this idea of, of vertical farming, of aquaponics, of chicken coops, of this idea where, where we really are uh, living within nature, not separate from it. Uh, bikeable, walkable communities that um, you feel uh, just by being there that you are not disassociated from the natural world. And that's something that's very, very important these days that, we're, that we get back to, to a place where we fit into nature and a part of nature in, those, in that process. So we use software and technology to create a new kind of digital mycelial network, a kind of understanding of nutritional flows for the first time ever at the neighborhood scale. So it's not just a smart house inside of a dumb neighborhood. It's the sentient neighborhood infrastructure that supports thriving and flourishing. What struck me when we first talked was that you, you, you explained that uh, these villages, these settlements will be able to communicate with each other and learn from each other. Now that the uh, context, environmental context and so on, I'm sure will be quite different, but is, is this something that's been demonstrated anywhere in the world or is this what you're up to? We are the first group in the world to focus on outside of cities, primarily, initially, at least, especially on uh, previously zoned agricultural, ranch, and greenbelt land, where we can prove 
by using software and machine learning, a kind of sim city of sim village toggles that allow lay people, landowners, developers, local government, communities especially, to toggle their interests uh, in, in a, on a piece of land specific to, their, to them and allow for fast track community assessment, allow for fast track rezoning of that land to mixed use residential light commercial and, and also to fast track permit pulling. And then that all of a sudden opens up a whole new world for these kinds of uh, communities to get rapidly built around the world. It's important to note also that the data is owned by the inhabitants of those communities. It's not something for sale to, you know, to, to, uh, <laughs> to big corporate interests. Your solution, the, the Regen Villages uh, solution seems to me, if we really can push in that direction, those sorts of problems should over time, certainly for our grandchildren, uh, be much less of a problem. So thank you immensely for what you do. We'll watch uh, the next steps with great uh, interest. But again, thank you very much. Thank you.